Do you calculate your trading risk? Do you actually know how much you're trading when you trade into an instrument? Whether it be Forex, whether it be an index, whether it be a commodity, what size are your trades? I realized that trading too big becomes too expensive many years ago. And you have to calculate what your best entry amount is. Now, I've done a lot of video footage on managing your risk and how to manage your risk and how to stop loss and how important stop loss is. But I realized I haven't spoken to you about how much you should risk or what is the risk amount? What size should your contract be or your lot size? There's lots and lots and lots on the internet, little calculating boxes like this that you can use to calculate your lot size and that sort of thing. But the one thing that I found on the market is if you use different brokers, a lot of their different instruments have got different risk sizes to them, which can be a bit of a problem to you. To take, for example, the S&P 500, which is a good example, right? In one case, you'll trade one contract and it'll be a huge, like $10,000 trade. And in another instrument, you'll, on the same broker, you'll trade one contract and it's like a mini contract almost. And that same one contract is $100. dollars you got to ask yourself, do you know which contract you're trading and how big is the size of the contract? Now, most brokers will offer you smaller contract sizes on their platform. So if you're trading into something really big and you're thinking, well, if I take that kind of risk, I'm going to lose a fortune. Look for a smaller instrument that exists in the same thing. So S&P 500, for example, they will normally, a good broker will normally have a money size for you or a better size. And then you can actually, instead of buying one, you can buy five or 10 contracts or whatever and feel more comfortable with your loss. The thing is how to calculate how much to trade. And that's the big thing. Hey, it's wrong guilty. It's logical trading. Don't forget guys, trading is very risky. It's hugely risky. If you don't like losing money and you don't like risk, rather don't trade. Guys, while you're here, Check out my secret blog. There's a free trade every single day. Well, at least I try to do it every day, but 99.9% .9 of the time, every day, there's a free trade in there. Go check the link out in the bio in the, in the description <clears throat> and go and check out the secret blog. It'll give you a free trade every single day. There's a free Forex book there as well. It's all free. Grab it. Enjoy it. Just remember, this is just a trading idea. This is not financial advice at all. Trading's risky. So how, how do you choose your lot size or your contract size when you're taking a trade in the stock market? Because there's so much available out there. You can take a box and you can check, tells you this lot size. But what I discovered with that is I'll put that lot size into my trade and then it doesn't match up. Every single broker <clears throat> offers you different sizes particularly on the indexes, more so than the Forex. So what I do is I have a little spreadsheet. I know how much risk I want to put down. So I choose my amount of risk, whether it be 100, 500, 1,000, whatever the case, on any particular instrument, on any particular trade. I particularly know how much I want to risk, how much I want to risk on a heavy risk, on a low risk, on a medium risk, right? So what I'll have is I'll have my own spreadsheet. How many instruments are you trading, guys? 50, 60? No, you're trading probably 10 at the best, okay? Maybe 50. If you're trading stocks, stocks are easy. You don't need this for stocks because stocks, you can easily calculate how much stock you're buying based on the price. And then you know how much risk you want to put on that in any, way, in any one event anyway. It's a, this is all for the indexes, the commodities, and the forex. And what I will normally do is... If I'm new to a broker specifically, I'll go in and if I don't have a demo account available with them on my real account, and, that's, and if I've only got a real account, what I'll do is simply go and I'll take a 0 0.1 trade on a particular instrument and just see how much it moves and how much it is, and then just quickly calculate how much that would be per so many points and say, all right, I can trade on this instrument 0.5 contracts, or I can trade one contract, or I can trade five contracts on this particular instrument. Then I'll just simply take that information and place it into my spreadsheet, 
where and that spreadsheet is where I record my trades and where I take a, a copy of each trade and each graph and I go back to it at the end of the week and I see what I traded, why I lost, why I won on any specific trade. On that same spreadsheet, on the side, I simply put an index as to how many I can trade on each individual instrument. So I don't have to think about it or recalculate it every time. If I decide I'm going to trade the DAX, I quickly go to my spreadsheet and I see what do I normally trade on the DAX, what's my index amount, and how much I want to trade. Because then I know exactly, I know what my risk is, I know how much my risk is going to be and how much it's, and then I work out where my stop loss is going to be according to that risk. It's easy. So just do a 0.1 trade. If you haven't traded the instrument before, check how much it moves and then just calculate based on that. It's really easy. It's going to it's going to take so much money if it moves 100 points or it's going to take so much money if it moves 50 points. And that's what my stop loss normally is on this instrument. So that's how many I'm going to trade on this instrument just about every single time. So then you know your contract sizes very close. If you have to adjust it slightly, no big deal, because you will know how much that is taking, exactly how much that is taking on that broker. And just remember, if you have different brokers, it can be confusing. The different brokers sometimes have different amounts. Be very careful of that. So just watch out for that different brokers, trade size, contract, lot size thing. Once you've got that list, Normally, I mean, I don't know any trader that doesn't have their favorites. Every trader has their little favorite trades that they go to, whether it be in the indexes, the forex, the commodities, whatever. You'll find even a person who's trading the commodities, that they might be trading gold on a regular basis rather than palladium, for example. Or a person who's trading the indexes mostly, will you might find that they're trading the DAX mostly, or they might be trading the S&P 500 from USA only. The people who trade Forex, I notice a lot of people tend to magnetize towards the Euro, US dollar, or the US dollar, Great British Pound, or, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's how things work. I myself got attracted to maybe five, six currency pairs. You don't need to trade them all. It's not necessary. And I'll be, uh, I'm attracted to maybe four or five indexes total, you know, and that's it. That's me. And, and, and I'm good with that. Like I said, stocks are easier. Stocks, you just calculate the value and uh, you work out how many shares you want to buy. It's as easy as that. And you just work out what your risk is and, and calculate it based on that. You don't need a mathematical equation for this. And let me tell you something, guys. If you don't know a little bit about maths, or if you haven't passed maths at school, you probably shouldn't be trading because you've got to be able to count, guys. Come on, let's be honest. You've got to be able to count. So it's not rocket science to work out a percentage and average, a lot size or whatever the case. So like I say, just to recap, what I normally do on a new broker is I'll take 0.1, just see how much the item moves and then calculate what the movement is on that particular instrument. Take that instrument, put it in my spreadsheet and I'll know next time exactly how many I need to trade. Easy. Hey, I hope that helps you guys. I hope it's got some value to you. Thanks for watching. Till next time, guys. Don't forget to watch the last video. Cheers. Bye.